Hey, if you're looking for a home south of Houston and considering Meridiana, I'm going to go over the pros and the cons, the good and the bad, and I'm going to do that right now. But remember, if you're looking for a home anywhere in the Houston area, I'd love to help. Call me, text, send me an email, and I'd love to help you find your home. All right, when we're talking about the, the pros, let's kind of start that off with uh, Meridiana. Uh, look no further than the, the what I would say just, you know, from a, from a south perspective is the centralized location. So... You're going to be able to easily 30 minutes to Sugarland, right? 30 minutes to Pearland, 30 minutes to NASA. If you want to go down for the for the day down to Galveston and all the stuff that that has to offer, you're you're about an hour away, right? You want to go over to Kima, you're between 30 and 45 minutes away. So the Kima, that's kind of an underappreciated little area. You got kind of a neat carnival type of atmosphere, rides, games, a boardwalk experience great dining that you can kind of sit along the water so something different that's going to give you a, a different kind of feel uh, that you really can't get in very many other places right so you, you're sitting on the water in great place so super easy access to a lot of things that are going to that are either going to be dining or shopping but also just entertainment so so from an outside inner or an outdoors entertainment right you're going to be close to brazos brazos bend state park you can do fun things like over by uh, Froberg, Froberg's Farms, right? So you can go, you've got strawberry and blackberry picking. You can chop down your own Christmas tree. You've got lots of neat festivals around the different holidays. So again, good combination of dining, entertainment, maybe some unique types of experiences that, and, and they're easy to get to. So you're not, you're not spending the whole day. There's lots of places that have those those festivals or that you know pumpkin picking or or uh, you cutting down the tree. That's you're spending a couple hours in the car to go out to some of those places where you've got that right kind of next door. From a commute perspective, again, if you're going to one of those places, if your if your kids are playing sports or, or different kind of club sports, uh, taking them to to martial arts taking them to those types of things where you're you're you're, take, you're taking them to the swim club in uh, Houston or the in uh, in Pearland right the the Houston swim swim team right that's super close so again easy to get to a variety of things some other kind of neat activities that I think are you that are easy to get to from that side of the road, side of the side of Houston are the uh, the BMX park that's something I just found out about we used to BMX all the time. We used to ride our bikes all the time. I think that's sort of a, a lost art, lost pastime. Um, but, you know, if your kids enjoy that, that's super close. You got to be able to take advantage of that. So we, oh, so we talked about really the, the, the closeness of all of the stuff that you kind of go outside of. But probably just skipped over all of the inside amenities that you've got. So you've got the pools, uh, resort style pools. You've got... A restaurant on site that is is super convenient. Wood fired pizza, salads, wings, burgers, so you can enjoy that. You've got a lot of things that you can do as a family walking through there to be able to enjoy. They've got these learning lab types of things. Um, so again, neat family types of activities. You've got the clubhouse, the fitness centers, all those maybe both kind of non typical but but typical uh, amenities that you've got in a master plan community. Commute, if you're if you're looking at one of those other locations for commute, that's going to be a pro. So on the con side, if you are working up into downtown or if you're working in the med center and you're working at traditional times, right, you're leaving at 7 in the morning or so, you're coming home around that 5, 6 o'clock time frame, the, the commute times are going to be going to be up a little bit. Um, you're going to be in some traffic. Now, they are expanding 288, so it's going to make it a lot easier. They've got the tollway there on 288. So that's going to make things easier. If you're commuting out to the west side, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So commute. So I, I think the main thing really is is traffic, right, in your commute. So it really just depends on on where you're at. So if if you are in Sugarland, um, Pearland, NASA, those types of places, you're working someplace local, or with so many people these days working from home, I'm, I'm really struggling to kind of come up with more pros. You've got enough restaurants to keep it interesting. Other than that, right? If you're if you're wanting to go to a ton of different restaurants and you're going to spend some time on 288, um, and you're and you're going to go up to those type of places, but you have access to it. It's just a matter of how convenient it is for you. Is really kind of what you have to consider there. So just kind of kind of wrapping that up, right? If if you love being on the south side of Houston, you love being central. I think it's a great place for you. 
if you are going to be spending a lot of time driving, um, you need to kind of be on the north side, kind of that you know central central Houston area. Then you're probably it's going to be a little bit difficult for you. And then you just have to consider whether or not the amenities, the price point of that community, all this other stuff that it's got is it makes it makes it right for you. If it's right for you, or um, if you're just kind of looking for some other places in Houston, remember, I'd love to help you. Uh, can't do that unless you call me, text me, uh, send me an email. We'll get in touch, and I'd love to help you find your home.